friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on March 18th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update. As well, look at earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun, 304 angstroms. Quite a few events to see and talk about here. We had a couple sizable solar flares to talk about as well. Plasma filament eruptions and that tall standing solar tornado in the northern hemisphere. Having a look here at the last 48 hours, incoming pretty active sunspot region here, releasing two M-class solar flares. Looking at outgoing, this is where we can see that plasma filament left-hand side dancing around and then eventually ripping away. Same with the plasma filament in the southern hemisphere. Closer look here at that active sunspot region, producing two M-class solar flares. And as well, yesterday's large plasma filament that erupted from the southeast region of our sun, releasing quite a few plasma bombs into space. Closer look at Lasco 2 in just a moment. And here's that tall solar tornado, eventually gaining strength and looping right back into the sun. Look at the height of that thing. It like doubled its size just before it ripped away. Looking at multi-spectrum here, we can see the last 48 hours of events as well, noting all the active sunspot regions. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Solar Cycle 25 definitely putting on a show so far. Another look here at 171 angstroms, and this is where we can see coronal hole regions, which are the blackened colored regions. Basically, these are cooled areas on the surface of our sun. Big one in the southern hemisphere, about to get into an Earth-facing view. Looking at our sun at another light, this is where we could see all of the plasma loops and the heliosphere in action with all of the last 48 hours of events. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Please don't forget to leave a like if you're enjoying these con this content and the updates. Looking at Lasco 2, you can see Mercury in the bottom there shooting across backside of the sun. As well, noting there the CME from that plasma filament yesterday. And as well, CME from solar flare region. And as well as CME from the northern region where that solar tornado was. So no CME was thwarted our way. We're lucky. We had a pretty big one on the backside of the sun, created a halo CME and affected our planet within a 24-hour period. Here's a close look at that large CME. As I said, look at those plasma bombs coming through there. Amazing cosmic energy heading out of the sun. Looking at the flare class, we're sitting in C range right now after seeing one, two, three large C class and two M class solar flares. Geomagnetic activity sitting at 2.5 kp. Real time solar wind sitting at about 430 kilometers per second right now after being up to about 462, topping out. Latest imagery from ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing that CME blast taking off towards nowhere. You can see orange circle there coming around backside of the sun is Mercury. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 25. Quick glance at the telemetry here. Spiking throughout the day every four hours or so. Amplitude 25, quality 6.6, .6, frequency 8.24. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're still slightly below average after reporting this large 6.8 near the coast of Ecuador. Early this morning, rang out. 
Also seeing activity here in Argentina, 5.0 earthquake. As well, 4.6 there. Calama, 96 kilometer depth. So activity coming back to South America as it has been quiet. As well, La Playa, Mexico, 4.4, 4.2. And no swarm occurring at Salton Sea, Bombay, California. Just only reporting those two earthquakes. Minor activity through Hawaii. Looking across the north and the west ring of fire. Japan region seeing a couple earthquakes today, 4.8. As well, a deep one there, Bone and Islands region. Then we get to Fiji and down into New Zealand. 482 kilometer depth there, 4.6. As well, 156 kilometer, 4.6. And then New Zealand, look at this, 4.7 and a 4.6 or 3.6. Kararu, New Zealand, and as well a 4.3 Christchurch, New Zealand. That's where that large, devastating earthquake was a few years back. Activity there through the Banda Sea, 4.9 here, Hindu Kush, Afghanistan, as well a 4.2 Iran, and activity continues through Turkey, 4.4 and a 4.3 there today, including many minor earthquakes as well meaning magnitude one to three here is a glance at the last seven days for shakers across the planet we've seen a lot of deep movement recently southwest ring of fire as well through the indian plate and southeast towards south america nazca plate 6.8 earthquake is a lot of release, but I still don't think it's enough. Right up into the Cascades, beyond watch. Looking at north versus the south. Much love, everybody. And stay aware, prepared, and be ready for anything. And prayers going out to anybody affected by an earthquake disaster. Let's have a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Looking at Reventador and Ecuador. Many floods breaking out across South America right now. As forecasted here, we had some pretty extreme weather. Looking at Sangay in Ecuador. As well, Popocatetl in Mexico. Swiss and Najima, Japan. Semeru, Indonesia. Fuego in Guatemala. Sabancaya in Peru. Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia. Karangatang, Indonesia. As well, Krakatoa being alerted and upgraded in the past 14 hours, as well Ebico in Russia. Looking at satellite imagery, big system still trying to usher off of the east coast of the United States, as well a big one heading towards Iceland. Atmospheric line of moisture there, overlooking Pacific. Still got an atmospheric river of moisture heading towards California, Oregon, but a lot of the systems are now heading north towards Alaska. Stay tuned for the daily forecasts because they do change, sometimes overnight. Having a look at the rest of the world, strong system heading up into Turkey right now. And as well, cloudy conditions building across Western Europe through Spain and France. United Kingdom, you have a low pressure system right on you right now and another one on the doorstep other than that no tropical storms to talk about cyclone freddy is finally gone let's have a look at world weather forecast brought to you by venture sky overlooking ontario and the east parts of canada lots of flurries are flying cold high pressure ridge building in as well we've got lots of moisture raking up the west coast Let's put this into motion as we have that low pressure center heading up towards Quebec. And then we have a low coming in from the Pacific Tuesday into Wednesday over California. Watch for that to develop across central United States. Extreme weather breaking out through the Gulf states. Could be some tornadic and some very dangerous weather with this system. Expecting snow for central regions and extreme weather tornado warnings through the Gulf states Sunday 
into Monday, 26th into the 27th. And then look at all these snowflakes still flying towards the end of the month. Overlooking South America. Got some pretty electrifying rains. Daily evaporation rains, but as I said, could be heavy and electric at times. Watch for forest fires and flash floods. Big system there heading into part of Buenos Aires. Overlooking Africa, Madagascar. Daily evaporation rains, but then watch these systems heading in from the Indian Ocean. 24th into the 25th affecting Madagascar and then yet another cyclone developing looks like it'll just rake by the Mauritius Island and Reunion stay tuned for detailed forecast tomorrow overlooking Europe got a low pressure center over eastern Mediterranean heading through Turkey right now and into Tehran and then lots of lows bombarding the United Kingdom this week Lots of moisture and windy conditions will be prevailing. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific, heavy rains moving up Eastern India and into Myanmar. Other than that, no typhoons or cyclones developing right now. Overlooking Australia and of course New Zealand. Most of the systems are staying northward right now. A low pressure center there developing for Sydney, 23rd into the 24th. As well, a strong low pressure system heading through southern parts of Australia. Watch for that to bring in a trough line of moisture stretching up to the middle of the continent. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's update. If you did, please hit the like button and share with a friend. I'll leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean and all of the systems that are forecast for the next 10 days. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting that play button. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.